Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World and the Black Business School. I was thinking about something that people uh, bring up a lot. Um, it has to do with that old saying. I don't know if you've ever heard it before where people say, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Teach him how to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. I don't know if you've heard that before. Um, but uh, if you haven't heard it, um, then now you have. Um, and, it, and it makes sense, right? It, I mean, it sounds like this sort of old school wisdom that you would get from grandma or granddaddy's house. And, and it does make sense. I mean, it basically says that if you learn a skill, you will uh, be better off than if somebody's just taking care of you. And, and, and to some extent, that certainly makes sense, especially when you talk about economic empowerment. Why? Because uh, on one level, on the first level, the, you know, the, the more basic level, uh, we know that if you know how to do something, you have the ability to constantly keep doing that thing over and over again to generate income for yourself or for your family. But then let's go to the next level on this. Now, I want you to think with me for a second on this. The next level on this is when it comes to earning income. Think about your relationship with corporate America or, dare I say, white America. See, people always get nervous when I talk about white people, but they don't pay my bills, so I can, I can kind of say whatever I want. Um, they give you fish, right? Fish in exchange for work, in exchange for good behavior, in exchange for the fact that they may just like you. May, you may be the chosen Negro, the propped up Negro, the one who's going to get paid, the one who's going to get taken care of, hooked up, whatever, right? If you deviate, if you misbehave, or if you get out of line, or you do what I do, meaning talk about white people, then they won't give you fish anymore, right? So what's the next step beyond that? Besides just getting the fish, besides just getting the paycheck every week, well, it's, it's learning how to fish, right? So what does that mean from a monetary standpoint? Well, that means knowing how to fish for money, knowing how to fish for resources, knowing how to fish for income. An entrepreneur knows how to do this. An entrepreneur knows how to fish for the income that they need in order to do what they've got to do. Uh, they don't need you to give them a paycheck. They go create their own paycheck, right? They, they know how to fish, right? But here, here's, a, here's a, a higher level. And this is where I want you to what I want you to really walk away with on this on this issue, because I think it's important. I think it's worth thinking about and talking about. Remember that when people are receiving fish and people are being taught how to fish, if they're being taught how to fish out of a pond, somebody owns that pond. Somebody owns the capital upon which all these transactions are occurring. When people are learning how to fish and teaching each other how to fish, somebody owns the lake on which. All this teaching and learning is taking place, and they have to rent this lake from somebody else. That's the true owner of capital. You see, because, because the person who is teaching other people how to fish, they, they might have some human capital, some intellectual capital. But the person who's got the physical capital has the kind of capital that can last through many generations. Because even if you learn how to be an engineer or a doctor or a lawyer or whatever it is that you feel that you know how to do that makes you special, which congratulations, good for you, like, or a professor like me, you know, we, we feel like we're smart, right? Even if, I, even if I have all this, all this human capital, this intellectual capital is going to be gone after I'm gone. Or God forbid, I get hit in the head, my brain is screwed up, I can't make any more money because my capital has been depleted. However, if I make the intelligent and strategic decision to shift that capital into other forms of capital that will last through multiple generations, then I might be on to something. So the bottom line is, is this. The moral of the story is this. Two things. Number one, black people are not a charity case. We're not here for, to have other people constantly feeding us fish, giving us the fish that we need. That's not who we are. Charity is not a sustainable business model. Black businesses should not be asked to always give away their products. Black people should not spend their whole lives begging white for acceptance from white people in order to get what we need. That is not going to make us empowered because what happens is that when you're receiving charity, the person giving you the charity always has the power. And when they decide to change their mind, then you're screwed. Everything you've built, every, everything you've created, every accomplishment you think you've made, every stride you think you've taken is now gone. That's the first thing. Black people are not a charity case. The second thing to understand, ownership is critical. Like Malcolm X said, that there's, there's no dignity in going from the back of the bus to the front of the bus. There's only dignity when you own the bus. So there's not even dignity driving the bus, being in the front of the bus, riding on top of the bus. It's about owning the damn bus. We must own the bus. 
So in your life, ask yourself, do I own a bus? Even if it's a little bus, you take pride in that bus. You gas it up, you polish it up, you wax it up, you clean it up. You make sure it's running real good and you take pride. You say, this is a little tiny bus. It only holds one person, but it's my bus, damn it. And that is the first step toward reclaiming your self-love. When you have dignity, it's much much easier to have uh, the type of, of spiritual and intellectual sovereignty that comes with an empowered group of people. So I want you to be empowered. I want you to keep that in mind. Now, just as a side note, the Black Wealth Boot Camp starts on March 12th. You may be hearing this after March 12th, in which case you can go to the blackwealthbootcamp.com to see when the next boot camp begins. Uh, this is the kind of thing we talk about. We build better black people in the Black Wealth Boot Camp. We don't just talk about money and finance. We talk about it in a way that is authentically black, in a way that you'll never hear at a university. Because in, at a university, money's always green. Well, in our, uni in our space, money is red, black, and green. That, that's how we operate. Uh, the other thing, too, is I am actually on tour right now. I'm actually going to different cities across the country, spreading the gospel of black economic empowerment to whomever will listen. And our sessions are exciting. We're selling out all over the country. I hope that you'll come out to one of our events. You can find out about our events by visiting the Dr. Boyce Watkins tour .com. That's the Dr. Boyce Watkins tour .com. as of today, which I think is March 2nd, I guess. Uh, we're going to Louisville next and then uh, Chicago, the world premiere of our new film, Resurrecting Black Wall Street, The Blueprint. We're also going to Baltimore uh, on April 28th, and we're going to a bunch of other cities after that. We're negotiating deals constantly, constantly trying to make things move. Plus, we're trying to help rebuild Black Hollywood. We're, we're just trying to do, we're, we're too big for our britches right now. We're trying to do a whole lot of stuff that right now feels almost impossible sometimes because we're operating on a budget that's not at the level of major corporations, but we do have resources and support. To those of you who do support us, I want to say thank you. Uh, those of you who are thinking about supporting us, I hope that we can earn your trust and convince you to join us in making a difference in this world. Uh, that's that's what we want to do. So don't forget, if you want to know about the tour, go visit the Dr. Boyce Watkins tour .com. If you want to know about the boot camp, visit the Black Wealth boot camp .com. And don't forget, go on a bus. It'll make you feel good. Talk to you soon. Peace.